perhaps no other plant that I like more in terms of fragrance is lavender. Hey, I'm Dr. Tom Warren and you're watching The Plant Doctor. Today I want to go over seven tips for growing lavender. So the first thing we need to discuss is where do we plant lavender? So these, these lavenders here I have in my hand, I actually propagated these myself in these pots. I've got some more going here. We'll talk about how to do that in a minute, but let's talk about where we plant lavender. Lavender loves full sun. Uh, so we define full sun as eight or more hours of direct sunlight a day. If you can give them 12 to 14 in the summertime, all the better. So these are native to the Mediterranean, an arid climate. They can take a lot of heat, they can take drought stress, they can take a lot of sun. Uh, so if you have an area in your yard where it meets those criteria, a lot of sun, a lot of heat, consider lavender. Lavender is hardy in USDA zones five to nine. So you can grow these uh, from the deep south, say Georgia, F North Florida, over into Texas, and then up almost to the Great Lakes. So you can, you can grow these in a lot of different areas. Uh, so this is a very, very good plant for those full sun situations where the wintertime temperatures don't get very much below zero or negative 10. Uh, you can have a lot of success with your lavender. We need to talk about when to plant lavender. Ideally, we want to plant lavender in the early spring as it's coming out of dormancy. Uh, that gives the plant an opportunity to, to put some roots down into the native soil and then before the foliage comes out, it's somewhat established. Uh, you'll have to water it a little bit that first year, but once it's established year two going forward, this is going to be just fine. Do not plant these in heavy clay soils. If you have a heavy clay soil, my recommendation would be to incorporate some, some sort of amendment into your soil. Don't use sand. Uh, so I had an old professor at my uh, undergrad in Auburn. Uh, he had a mathematical formula, for lack of a better term. He would say that clay plus sand equals concrete. Don't add sand thinking you're going to improve drainage in heavy clay soils. Add some sort of pine bark amendment uh, and that will provide some drainage for plants like lavender that do not like to have wet feet. If you're growing these in northern climates, say you're in that zone 5 range, you're right on the northern border for growing lavender, or if, even if you're in zone 4 or zone 3, uh, one thing I would recommend, grow it in a pot. Grow these in pots. Keep it outdoors during the spring, in the winter, in the fall, and then when it gets really cold in the winter, you can bring in that pot in, stick it in your garage, put it on a, a porch like I have behind me here, something somewhere that's protected, and keep it indoors. And then once it warms back up the following spring, you can always take it back outside. And even in those really cold climates, uh, you can still grow lavender. If you're growing lavender in the landscape, one thing that I would recommend is use mulch. Mulch is, is great for a lot of reasons. Uh, mulch has benefits with weed suppression, water retention. It also has benefits in terms of providing a little bit of nutrients to your plants during decomposition. <clears throat> one, one thing you can get away with with lavender, considering that it is a arid plant native to the Mediterranean, you can use rocks as mulch. I, I usually don't recommend using river rock for mulch uh, in the landscape for several different reasons, but you can get away with it here because this plant can take the heat that those rocks are going to reflect back onto it. These look great in pots. Uh, if you put a little bit of like uh, pea gravel, little pebbles underneath them for some mulch. So consider using some mulch when you plant your lavender. I get a lot of questions uh, on our YouTube channel and just people in, in the community in general. And one of the questions I get is, when should I cut, cut my lavender? When should I harvest my lavender? You should harvest your lavender as the new growth begins to harden off. Okay, so as the, the new growth comes on, the new growth is green. And once it starts to lose some of its pliability, it wants to stiffen up a little bit, go ahead and cut it. You can hang it upside down in the house for 10 to 14 days and you will have some really, really nice lavender to work with 
uh, whether you're using it for cooking or just for uh, aromatics in the house, it, it'll be perfect. When should we prune lavender? So we should prune lavender in the early spring, right when it's beginning to flush. If you want to shape your lavender, if you, um, if you care about how it looks, do it then. So wherever you make a cut, you'll get multiple branches. So you'll get two, three new branches. It'll fill out and be a nice full plant. These two specimens here, they're not nice full plants because I, these are cuttings I took this spring and I've just kind of let them go. So you can see here, this one grew sideways and it's actually growing roots down here on the bottom. I'll trim these up in the spring and, and make these look really good. Once your lavender starts to go dormant, you can cut them back in the fall as well. So these will go dormant uh, usually around the first frost, which in my area is somewhere between Halloween and Thanksgiving. We'll have a frost early November most years. Uh, once that happens, you can, if you wanna cut these back, you can cut them back then. You can have all the lavender that you could ever dream of if you learn how to propagate lavender. And propagating lavender is really quite simple. Uh, so all you need to do is during the summer, once these harden off, okay, so we're looking for that semi-hardwood growth, the same stuff that we would cut off to use in the house, we can propagate that. So basically all you need is some pruning shears, you need a pot, you need a media that drains really well. So this is miracle Grow Cactus Palm and Citrus Potting Mix. It has a very sandy or gritty composition to it. It drains really well. I'll do my best to leave a product link down in the description below for this product here. It does a really nice job. As a matter of fact, before I show you how to propagate, these cuttings I did are two weeks old. And one of these, see if I can find, yeah. One of these already has roots. Okay, and so within two weeks, I've got a root that's, uh, almost pushing an inch long. So these will root pretty quick for you. Um, you just gotta keep them wet. So let's walk through the process of how to propagate our lavender. So as I said earlier, we're going to take semi-hardwood cuttings. I can take a cutting just like this. You need a pruners. And I, I cut back about five nodes. So a node is a site of vegetative development. So wherever the leaves come out, that's a node. And so these bottom three nodes, I'm going to pull off the leaves. And so I'm left with that. I'm gonna take my pruners. I'm just gonna wound one side. Just like you were gonna whittle a stick, we're gonna wound that. Take some rooting hormone. I'll leave a product link down in the description for some rooting hormone. And what I like to do, I'll take my cap and I'll dump just a little bit of rooting hormone in my cap. I do not like to put my cuttings directly into my bottle because if I have pathogens on my cuttings, the next time I go to make cuttings, there's pathogens down in there and I'm just spreading pathogens all around my garden. So what I'll do is I'll use my cap, I'll rub some rooting hormone on my cutting, I'll use my pinky to make a hole, and then I'll stick this in here. Before I put this cap back on my uh, bottle, I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol and just, and just clean that out real quick. Now that we have cuttings, what do we need to do with them? Basically, you just need to keep the soil damp. They do not need a high humidity environment. You do, you do not need to put a dome on this. Like, you know, for example, if we were doing other types of cuttings, I may tell you to take a two or three liter, liter bottle and cut the bottom out of it and stick it over this and it acts like a greenhouse. We don't need that with these. Seriously, take this, put it in a uh, place where it can get some morning sun uh, you can put that in a windowsill. I put mine in the back corner of the patio right here. So the sun, this is early morning. The sun's over here to my east. That's getting a little bit of sun in that corner right now. And then when it gets really hot in the afternoon, it's in the shade. Perfect for these. 
And all I'm doing, I, I water these maybe three times a week. I just come out and I do a finger check. I take my pinky, I stick my pinky down in the soil. If it's damp, I do not water. If it feels like it's drying out, I water it and I get really good rooting success with that method when propagating lavender. It's really easy, it's really exciting. You can propagate lavender and within one or two growing seasons, you could have several dozen lavenders in your landscape. So that's just an easy way to propagate lavender. Guys, as always, thank you for watching The Plant Doctor. I love lavender. I hope this video has helped you out. And until next time, happy gardening.